Hey guys, welcome back to the Fig Tree. Today is Wednesday, September 14th, 2022. How are you? Praying your strength in the Lord. Praying that you're seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness, that you are following the Lord Jesus Christ, both in your thoughts and your mind. We're told to take every thought captive, run the race, fight that good fight, and lay aside those weights. We don't want those weights. Well, I want to finish up here on... Um, Part three. This is going to be part three. Uh, warning that I'm giving on the the Torah followers, those who uh, depart the narrow road, and add, subtract, and um, you know they they deviate. They even go after the deity of the Lord, depending on how deep they go into Torah. Um, the Ten Commandments should definitely be read and understood. Old Testament, you know. All scripture, all means all. The Bible is clear that all scripture is God breathed. You should know your prophets. You should be reading about Isaiah, okay? Jeremiah. These are wonderful people. Uh, read your Bible. <laughs> read the Word of God. All scripture is God breathed. That is profitable for teaching, correcting, and rebuking, and training in righteousness. In righteousness. We should be reading that Old Testament. Why? Christ is there. The burning bush. He's there. You know, the Lord, uh, Joshua, he's there. Take off your take off your sandals. Take off your shoes, okay? The ground that you're standing on is holy ground, all right? Know the Bible. Read it, all right? Read it. But today we're talking about uh, the difference. I mean, the Ten Commandments is one matter. That's one subject matter. Uh, we're talking about the 613, friends, 613 commandments, the Torah law. The deeper you go into it, you go deeper and deeper and deeper. You, as many people don't stop. Uh, it, they, they continually pour into this knowledge and it draws them away. This is why many people uh, who, who go in, they end up confused. They end up uh, rejecting the Lord. Oh, he's not God. It's a seduction or an entrapment seduced by knowledge all right You're, you know, we see this i've seen this throughout you know my especially my young adult life um, torah law better than christ okay or you end up supplementing and, and effectively saying you know what i know i'm under grace i know the blood of jesus christ is amazing but if i'm not supplementing that grace with law with the torah law mm, you know you guys under grace you guys in the in the new covenant you know you guys need to really be following the law you know, you need to be doing X, Y, and Z and running back and forth. No, I want to talk about that because there's a great error. And, you know, there's people that will always defend their God. But clearly here, there's a great fulfillment that the Bible talks about. Christ himself. Uh, and, you know, leave it to the Galileans. Leave it to Paul. Leave it to Peter. Leave it to James. They defended the new covenant. All right. We talked about that in part two. Um, if you're just hopping in here, we did part two and part one. We're on part three here. Uh, I won't go back too much because I can't cover it all. Otherwise, it would end up being a two hour uh, teaching. This is what the Lord Jesus said. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. No, the Lord didn't come for that. I did not come to destroy that, right? But to fulfill, right? This is the great fulfillment. The bread of life fulfills the law. Jesus said, eat my word. Let it become a part of you, right? With the law, you're running after it. You're sweating. You're laboring. God says, no, no, no. Eat my word, all right? Done, the stamp of approval. He came to fulfill it. There's people that can't get a hold of that. They won't get a hold of it. They cannot listen to Jesus' words. The Galilean, Christ, all right, Yeshua, they can't listen. They can't understand what it means that it's fulfilled. They want to be a doer of the law of Moses. All right? And we see this with the rich young ruler. Come follow me. To the rich young ruler, the Lord was quoting the Old Testament. Right? I just, you know, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. All right? Honor your father and mother. That's wonderful. You know, you should know your Old Testament. Know it. All scriptures God breathed. There's wisdom in that. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. That's fabulous. I don't have a problem with that. And the rich young ruler says, I've all these things I've kept from my youth. Jesus says, come follow me. And he goes and he walks away. He went away sorrowful. Come follow me. It's always the qualifier. The Lord wants you to follow him. People can't do that. There are many who will walk away sorrowful. All right. The rich young ruler, he walked away sad. Christ let him walk away. Okay. It's always a choice. 
So it's fulfilled, all right? I did not come to destroy the law or the prophets. You should know your Old Testament. Read it. There's great wisdom, okay, there. The Lord, the burning bush. Joshua, he was there. I, the general of the armies of heaven, okay? I didn't come to destroy that, the Lord would say. I came to fulfill it. He's the fulfillment of all things, all right? The law has been fulfilled in Christ. I know this is supremely basic, but again, there are many, many people out there confused by many. There are many cult leaders that are out there, and they won't tell you this. The law has been accomplished. The stamp, all right? Look at this stamp here. That It's been fulfilled in the blood of Jesus Christ, our high priest. Wonderful. This is good news. That's why it's called the good news, all right? That the Gentiles can be saved, all right? And the twelve defended the new covenant, the new covenant. But you know, you're going to have cult leaders, Gentile cult leaders, you know, running around telling you, no, 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 it has not been fulfilled. You need to supplement your faith in the Lord with X, Y, and Z. You need to do this. You need to be following the 613. I believe it. It's over 500. I know that. 613. You need to be following that, friend. Your faith in the Lord. You grace people. You new covenant people. Mm -mm. You need to be following the law and the full law. And you're going to find yourself with a yoke. This thing has been fulfilled in Christ. Okay, The Lord said it. I came. Don't think. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy it, but to fulfill it. He's the bread of life. You need to listen to the one who's called Christ, the Ancient of Days. All right. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. I and my Father are one. I say what the Father says. I do what the Father does. He would say this about himself. Such a great union between the three. All right. God is one. God is three. And it's beautiful. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that it's fulfilled in the Lord, but there are people who do. It's been accomplished. See that stamp here? The bread of life. Jesus said to eat my word. I am the living bread, he said. And these people will throw a big temper tantrum about that. It has not been fulfilled. You need to run back there and do X, Y, and Z. You can't, you can't, you can't. No. You must follow the Torah law. You must. Look, my Bible tells me it's been fulfilled. All right? That's what Jesus said. He just, he, that's what he said. I did not come to destroy it, but to fulfill it. And there's people running around there with a big yoke, and it they end up going away from this living bread. That's what happens. And it's so very, very sad. They go away. They depart the narrow road. They end up thinking that they could somehow earn their salvation by following. This is basic. I understand that, okay? I know I understand that the book, but the cults are everywhere. These cult leaders are everywhere, especially on YouTube land. Especially on YouTube, they want to throw a yoke around your neck and supplement your faith. Okay. My Bible tells me that there's a washing present; only the Holy Spirit can do that for you. There's a regeneration present; only the blood of Jesus can provide that for you. There's a renewing present; only the Holy Spirit can renew you. There's no law that can do that for you. That is faith, pure faith in the Ancient of Days. And look, this goes way back, friends. This, this started, the 12 disciples ran into this head on, right? But some of the sect of the Pharisees, look, who believed? There were Pharisees who believed, and these Pharisees could not break from the old. They couldn't break from it. Who believed? They rose up saying, it is necessary to circumcise them, the Gentiles. And they said the same thing that they're saying now. And to command them to keep the law of Moses. It's the same thing happening today. And there are cult leaders and there are people all over YouTube land, all over the place who will tell you, you need to keep the law. You need to be a Torah follower. You need to, and you need to, you need to follow it to a T. Personally, I'm going to stick with James. I'm going to stick with Paul. I'm going to stick with the 12 who defended the new covenant. Okay. This washing of regeneration, this renewing of the Holy Spirit, this blood of Jesus that is of such a caliber to transform your lowly body. All right? It's wonderful that there is a, a total fulfillment accomplished by the blood of Jesus by our high priest called Christ. And there's folks who can't get a handle of that. They're everywhere. This bread of life is the real thing. So I wanted to cover that. You know, there are people that will tell you, unless you're circumcised, according to, the, according to the custom of Moses, you can't be saved. They're out there. 
you need to look to command them to keep the law of Moses. This is what this is that yoke that God has set us free from because he accomplished it through faith in the Lord of glory, Yeshua, the ancient of days, the general. OK, people can get a hold of that. All scriptures God breathed. Yes, you should be knowing your Old Testament. You should know the Ten Commandments and love your neighbor as yourself. Don't steal. Uh, the Bible will tell us that the one who steals should steal no more. But there's people who go off the deep end. You can't be saved if you're not following the customs of Moses or the law or the Torah. In fact, they go so deep into it that now Christ is subservient. The old better than the new. Mixing the old and the new together. This is dangerous material. And this is why I'm warning on it. All right. So I wanted, I wanted to cover that briefly. You know, uh, be, be wise. Okay. Be wise about this. Because what happens here is that you have a uh, kind of a falling away by knowledge. Jesus said this, you search the scriptures. He's talking of the Pharisees here. You search the scriptures for in them, you think you have eternal life. And these are they which testify of me. Note what he said here. You're not willing to come to me that you may have life. Note that he's saying you're not willing to come to me. It's all about coming to the Lord. You follow the Lord. Notice that I keep saying follow Christ. That's the qualifier. You are following him. Okay? Follow, follow, follow. You are that's the that's the indwelling, the manifesting of the Holy Spirit in your life will bid you. There is a fragrance that will draw you to the one called Christ, the ancient of days. Okay? It's very important. You're not willing to come to me that you may have life. And look what he said about the scriptures. It's so important. He said, You search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. There's people that will read the Bible in academia, spending many hours running to and fro, searching the scriptures, thinking that in them you have life, but these are they which testify of me. In other words, friends, it's a tragedy. There's, there's so many people in academia searching the law, following the Torah, and it will lead you to denying Christ. For many, they'll go right off the narrow road. That's a great tragedy. They won't follow him. They think it's all about the law. And they will tell you that. Um, and the academics will do the same, spending great time in Torah doctrine or the law and, and so, so forth and so on. Okay. And, you know, and Osos is a bit different because they swing to the opposite extreme. Okay. You need to be following the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the point to this. All right. Coming to him, confessing your sins before the Lord, that he would be faithful and just to forgive you, to wash you, to cleanse you. That's what he does. He will wash you with this regeneration of the Holy Spirit. He will renew your mind. Follow him. Don't be bound. It is necessary to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law. All right? I read you the verse. All right? They said that they couldn't keep it. All right? So I just wanted to cover that. You know, uh, be very, very careful. Be very careful. There will be those who will be left behind because of this. Um because they've departed the first love. They spend so much time in Torah doctrine, so much time running to and fro, uh, they, they get entrapped to it. They're, 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 they're bound. Don't let that be you. Right? Try not to mix it. If you're mixing, worshiping the law of Moses, going off the narrow road, and then you fall into idolatry, not knowing that the new, cover, the new covenant is new in quality, new in virtue, new in power, it is, it is that which manifests the power of the Lord Jesus Christ in your life from the inside out. All right? He's the one who bid who powers you like a battery to follow him. The law can't do that. All right? It can't. Uh, only the blood of Jesus saves. Only the blood of Jesus powers you and bids you to come to the Lord. For in him we move and have our being. In him we move and have our being. Law can't do that. All right? The law can't power you, and it's you running after that without the power of the Holy Spirit, without the paraclete, without the born-again reality, without the feeling of the Holy Spirit. started with 120 in the upper room. There were women present. Mary was present. No doubt the, the 12 were present, and it came like wind and fire. That's where it started, and they went forth. All right, They went forth in the power of the Holy Spirit. If you're left behind, it's because you departed the narrow road at some point. And, 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 you know, and many start off very, very, you know, oh, it's just a little dabbling, a little here, and they go deeper and deeper. And you know what? Maybe the Lord, maybe this, maybe the blood of Jesus isn't that, you know, I just need to go back and you go deeper and deeper into the law, deeper, 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 and then your heart goes south. It's, it's a problem of the heart. 
as in all things. All right, so I wanted to touch on that and just to, you know, finish that because there are those who will be bound. You know, and there are, there are a few groups. We talked about the, the the groups there. There are those who will supplement it, and there are those who will be a bit more intense into it. And I just wanted to cover that. Okay? We are fasting and praying Maranatha. All right? If you need prayer, our moderators will pray for you. Give us your name, and we will write that down, and we will join you in praying. If you are fasting and praying Maranatha, let us pray for you. Uh, perhaps... You know, you have family members who need prayer. Let us know, and we will pray for them as well. We're going in strong Wednesday. There are those who I do believe will be fasting and praying on Thursdays and Fridays. Maybe the Lord wants you to do that. Go by the leading of the Holy Spirit. But these are our united praying and fasting days. And uh, if you are bid to fast and pray on Thursday or Friday, definitely these, it's going to be our rest days. But there will be those who will be diving, prayer, uh, and diving into prayer. Uh, on these two days. So go by the leading of the Lord. And again, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, those are going to be our days. All right. Okay, guys, be well in Jesus' name. We are in multi day fasting and prayer for a time such as this. Things are escalating if you're paying attention. It's not getting better. It's only going to get worse. By the way, there are those who are waiting for that um, miracle moment. That moment is not going to come. A great revival is coming. Uh, great trouble is coming, and uh, it's not going to go well for those of earth. Um, it's just not. They're, they're not heeding the warnings. They're not aligning themselves with the Lord Jesus Christ. They are still quenching him, still grieving, still insulting the spirit of grace. He doesn't want that. He does not want, uh, he doesn't want the sins that are chosen daily, thinking you're okay when all you're doing is quenching him the whole time. How's that going to work out for you? It's not going to go well for you. It's just not. All right. God is holy, God is just, God is merciful, and he's waiting. That's why this thing is being dragged out, but it's coming to an end. All right? The sins have reached the heavens. This is why many of us are fasting and praying, because we can feel the wind of the Holy Spirit, and uh, trouble comes, and it's, it's, it's not going to go well. All right? It's, it's, it's just not. It's, it's going to be global. It's called the Great Tribulation. Uh, we've spoken on that before. It's going to be horrendous, and there are many who are going to be left behind into the wastelands of the Great Tribulation. It's going to be a barren wasteland of destruction, and you're going to lose everything. Your freedom, it's all going to go bye-bye, and it's going to happen quick. Some call it the kickoff event. Some call it the SD event, sudden destruction. It's going to happen. All right? Be found in the Lord. All right? Be found in the Lord. Be found in prayer. That's what he wants. So we're praying. We're fasting and praying for a time such as this. Yes, things are really happening. It should be obvious now that which starts in the spirit, it will always boil out and manifest. All right? And it is manifesting. And it's going to get louder and louder. And then, boom, it's going to just, it's going to go critical. All right? Be found in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, these are the warnings. All right? Stick with the Lord. Follow him. This is what he said. Don't be caught up into the two groups of those who are following the law of Moses, not understanding that the new covenant the new covenant is new indeed. Many are refusing to accept it. They have to mix the law of Moses. You know, and hey, God made us free moral agents. Many errors are at play. Those who are commanded they think that the Gentiles are commanded to keep the law of Moses. They said this. It is necessary to circumcise the Gentiles. And, 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 and to command them to keep the law of Moses. All 600 plus commands. It is, it is an error. It is a serious error because the blood of Jesus saves. We are not under the law. We are under grace. It has been fulfilled. I'll read it one more time here. All right. Just to kind of help us with this. All right, because there are many who are caught up and they won't, they can't understand it. All right, the law has been fulfilled in Christ. It hasn't been done away with. It has been satisfied. That's fabulous. Satisfied, satisfied, satisfied. All right, our high priest has satisfied the law. There's Gentiles out there that can't get a hold of that. And you're being deceived. All right, this is why many of you leave the narrow road. All right. And there are so many young ones, little babies in Christ. Okay, they get caught up in the law. Someone tells them to follow Torah. And then a month or two later, they're like, I don't like Christ and I, I can't follow him because it's all about the law. This has and is being repeated daily. 
Maybe I even read it in the comment section. But this has been happening since I was a kid. Since I heard about this when I was a teenager growing up. I just I swatted it away. I'm like, oh, that's nonsense. I mean, you have to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. What are you talking about? All right? But again, people are caught here. There are many traps. You know, once saved, always saved. That's another one. Oh, I could sin as much as I want. I don't have to. What are you talking about? It's all about following the Lord. He is the bread of life. He really did accomplish what we could not accomplish. All right? Know your Bible. Read it. Follow the Lord Jesus Christ. And, um, and you know, don't listen to the cult leaders because they're everywhere. And they're going to tell you the opposite. They're going to tell you, you need to, you, this is what you need to do, that the law has not been fulfilled by Christ. You need to follow Torah law. You need to follow the law of Moses. And if you're not doing that, you're going to hell. All right? That's not true. My Bible tells me, uh, I, I, I just read it to you, that he completed it. The Lord is great. He is mighty to save. It really has been fulfilled in Christ. I did not, do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill it. Matthew five seventeen. And uh, the twelve defended the new, the new covenant. It was very hard for them to break free. There were there were those who were following Yeshua, and they were having a very very hard time breaking free and understanding the fulfillment. It is the great fulfillment. Paul, James, Peter, Barnabas, they all defended this. Okay, know your Bible, read it. Okay, we're not under the law, we're under grace. You follow the Lord Jesus Christ and run from anyone who tells you anything differently. Run. I don't care how nice they seem or how intentional or how... No, no, you, you run, okay? Because there's an incomplete knowledge that they have about the Word of God and what this grace has done, rendered through the blood of Jesus Christ. Many have been seduced by knowledge, and uh, that's on them, all right? That those are choices that they made. You follow the Lord, because it really has been fulfilled, all right? Our high priest, the blood of Jesus Christ, he fulfilled many things for us. Sin, the soul who sins shall die. He saved us, and he did it while we were enemies. How great is our captain. Lord, we thank you for your word. Strengthen them in the name of Jesus Christ to the praise of your glory, Father. Animate them with Holy Spirit power, authority to walk in your spirit, to be sober in mind, word, and deed, to be a victor, Lord, to overcome by the blood of Jesus Christ through your spirit. In the name of Jesus, may they walk lives. May they walk in such a way as to give you maximum glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, amen.